Hey y'all, the holidays are the Super Bowl of hosting season and it's so much fun, but sometimes it can be a lot of work. So I have a few tips and tricks for making your party planning and hosting easier that we got from the Hospitality All-Stars, Southern Mamas. Okay, so one of the very first tricks to party planning is to just make your life easier across the board and that starts at the very beginning with invitations. Make use of modern technology. Online invitations are definitely the way to go for informal gatherings, especially holiday gatherings at your house because they are way more inexpensive, a lot faster, and really easy to keep track of your RSVPs. Now, there are certain events that merit paper invitations and handwritten, mailed in RSVPs like a wedding, and you should definitely use those for events like that. But for informal gatherings at your house around the holidays, definitely make use of online invitation creating websites. It's super fast, a lot more affordable, and it's honestly really customizable and you can create any design that you want. After the invitations, the menu is the next most important step. Honestly, I probably prepare my menu ideas before I do the invitations because y'all know how much I love food. I love to choose recipes that are make ahead and ones that also I don't have to babysit throughout the party, especially for super informal gatherings that people can just grab and make themselves or they're very light snacks. Obviously different parties call for different menus. I like to keep ones that I'm hosting at my house as informal and casual as possible when I can. So for this specific party, I'm gonna save a lot of time with some store-bought items and also make a lot of things ahead of time so on the day of the party, I don't have to deal with anything. And then you really can't go wrong with a two ingredient appetizer and my mama swears by cream cheese topped with pepper jelly and I love that, but I'm gonna take that recipe up a notch. It's still a two ingredient recipe, but I'm gonna be using brie cheese and regular, just any flavor jelly. Fig preserves would be great. Peach preserves, honey would be amazing. I'm gonna use a four fruit preserve because I, it's red and it's festive and I think it'll taste really good. And instead of serving it cold, I'm going to bake the brie, which is super easy. So still two ingredients, really, really easy to whip up and you can keep those two ingredients on hand anytime you have guests come over. One of the most important hosting tricks that I learned from my mama was to also enjoy your own party. And that means you don't wanna play bartender the entire night. So set up a DIY drink bar so people can make their own drinks, be their own bartender, and you can also enjoy your party too. Another really great way to save time is to buy plain desserts like these plain madeleines or mini bundt cakes and just quickly melt some chocolate and decorate it with melted chocolate. I'm doing white chocolate and dark chocolate. They're really pretty, they're really fast, and people will think they're homemade. And literally no one's gonna know if you home make your cheese straws, so just buy from the store. One final tip is just getting your house ready for the party. There are a few ways that Southern Mamas will tell you will make all of your guests feel right at home. Fresh flowers go a long way for decorations. I love putting some in the bathroom for a nice touch. And another thing I love doing is creating a freshen up station, which includes just little things that make guests feel a little bit more at home and so they can present themselves the best at the party. Like imagine if you feel like you have bad breath, you can sneak into the bathroom, pop in a mint, and then come back out and enjoy the rest of the party. A freshen up station with a lint roller, some hairspray and hair ties, a comb, mints, toothpicks, all of these things will really help guests feel more at home at your party. We could all use a little help and advice during the holiday, so I want to know your best party hosting hacks. Put them in the comments so we can all read them and all benefit from everybody's advice. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. If you're watching on YouTube, click the bell so you never miss an episode of Hey Y'all. I will see y'all next week, but in the meantime, Happy party hosting. Bye, y'all.